What up, gamers? Um, I'm going through like my very, very first sketchbook. I've shown a couple of my sketchbooks on this channel. It's all been like from the past few years, like maybe the past like three, maybe. But this one is from 2018. So she is an oldie. She's an oldie. So yeah, I was I was rocking with this. This was like when I decided I wanted to get into art. A lot of inspiration from the beautiful website YouTube, and you will see that very evidently. Let's just get into it. I'll okay. Starting off so strong. So it started sometime in 2017. I think November. This is like inspired, I guess, by Marichu. She had a video that was like the Sundere song that was really popular, and I with it heavily and then this like she was sooner to this guy and then this was her little sister that was like the plot which is really boring this is miraculous ladybug i think this is it's like i think this is the order i really don't want to read this it's gonna make me cringe really hard this is leia every time around christmas my family rewatches the star wars movies so this was a self-portrait uh Hate to tell you that looks nothing like me. I don't know if y'all know this artist, but I feel like y'all do. I feel like y'all know exactly who these eyes are based on, and I don't even have to, like, address it. Um, but yeah, they. this was, like, I think I was following some tutorial, and it, then it just looked like ass. And then more. I think I came back and did these, like, later on, because these are better. Uh, I showed my mom a drawing that I did, and then uh, she said that I spelled something wrong, and I was like, can't you just be happy that I did a good drawing? Maleficent, how much you want to bet that that's spelled wrong? Uh, I have dyslexia, so it's very evident. Around Christmas time again, some Santa girl, I don't know, uh, love the bleed through on Brittany. Spelled T-R-I-T-N-Y. That's pretty solid. Bianca, this was, I was really into the Percy Jackson series. If I really into it, I listened to the first audiobook on loop over and over and over again with my sister when we went to bed. So this is uh, my drawings of all of them. I really like the changes in art style. Like you have Grover with his soulless eyes and then Annabeth who has a little more shimmer to her. And then Percy just like looks like, looks like you could squeeze him in your fist and his eyes would pop out. And then Tyson. Uh, should I, I think I'm going to blur out these names because these were my friends i'm still friends with her i'm not friends with her but i follow her online <laughs> and then uh sooner and then an almost human character which i think that was like from everichu's annoying anime tropes video some face it was at my brother's basketball game and these really solid eyes here just absolutely splendid this was a fail i love Every time I go through like some art YouTubers like old like going through old drawings thing, they always show some drawing where they wrote like fail next to it, and that is just like so kid drawing core, and I love that so much. My cat's name is Eve, and she was evil, and I think this was me as a witch. I don't know. This also doesn't look like my cat. My cat's a tabby cat, so like there's like some animal racism here. I think. Uh, oh, these are my essays. I really need to get back to them. I should, like, put up their most recent iterations. Most recent iterations are, like, from 2020 or, like, 2021. So I should, like, give them an update because they're so fun. And I, they were, like, my very first, like, really thought out, I guess, OCs. And then this was uh, a Sith cat. Don't think that's how you spell it. There's, like, some themes of Star Wars here. I got a job as a barista. And I drew this as a response to that. And then Princess Leia. <laughs> me is Princess Leia. The way it's me is because I have freckles. So that's that's pretty good. Two. Look at how tiny. Kiss him. Uh, this is another self-portrait. I remember I didn't like this one as much because I thought it actually looked kind of accurate. And by that, I mean I just like made myself fat. So <laughs> I like all this like... That's so nasty. I... I should have cleaned my desk before this. It's just like white paint mixed with glue. Uh, but I, I remember that Batman shirt. Not that. That's Spider-Man. Sorry. That is my Spider-Man shirt. More elf girls. I was really into that. I don't know why. 
I should like redraw some of these. That would be a fun video. Okay. Uh, this I came back and drew this in 2020. I don't. You know that? I think that's a Doty song. That was also big in the animatic thing. I was really into animatics. I was like where I got most of like my art inspiration. I like the use of paper here. Just like such small drawings on such a bigger sheet. Pineapple, apple pen. My pen. I have pineapple. Oh, pineapple pen. That was a big. That was a big thing. That I don't know. <laughs> I think I redrew this, I d and I don't remember where that redraw is, but if I could ever find it, maybe I'd put that on screen. Um, I hated this kid named Adam in my elementary school. <laughs> Me and my friend are like, yeah, we know you're a jerk. He was a jerk. He tore out a page of this sketchbook. There is a page right here that he tore out because on the back of it, I drew him as a clown. <laughs> I had beef. I had beef. Yeah, th more beef with Adam. I he's watching this, but if he is, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. You were you were a shithead. Even my dad thought he was a shithead. Um, dog, turtle, and cat. I really like the cat. That's like really splendid, actually. Um, and this just is random. I think at one point I went back and just labeled shit because, like, you see that in here a lot. And I think that didn't happen while I drew these. Yeah, someone, someone, ladybug. Um. I do love this ladybug because she looks stupid. And I remember being really proud of this. I think we're about to get into my... Okay, here we are. <laughs> awesome fandoms. So here I wrote Pearl in cursive. Uh, and then Eliza. And then Alexander, which the... Lynn has never looked better. Uh, another someone. This was like with some colored pencils that my mom had that were fancy, but they weren't fancy. And then Garnet. I was really into Steven Universe, actually. Uh, hands and that guy. Freak Bob's calling. Uh, uh, yeah, that's Steven Universe. I think this was meant to be Eliza. And then this was when I, when I learned what guidelines were. And so I did them here, but then I did them way too harsh. So I was just like, you're going to be a Ninja Turtle with like a bandana around your eyes. Uh, another fail. That's pretty good. I want to, like, find one that I, like, remember being proud of, but I don't think I, like, have that yet. I think I was just like, oh, these are bad, but that's okay. <laughs> I went in with a great mentality of, oh, this is gonna suck for a really long time, but I'm just gonna keep going until I'm happy with it. And I haven't reached that point. Oh, I was not happy with her. I love, like, when you can feel the texture of that scribble. Like, you know, I was just, oh, um, Male. Male's here. Uh, I did this upside down. I think I did it on accident. I feel like I remember being like, which way? And then I just went for it and didn't think enough. Uh, hello, Eliza. I love, I love Hamilton. It's so funny. Look at how fat her head is. That's so happiness, my ass. Uh, Jackson. I said, I made up a fake man to tell people that I was dating him, and that was a lie. Uh, Star vs. the Forces of Evil Daughter. I really wanted Star to get together with Tom when I was a because I fucked with Tom, but this is- I still kind of like the design a little bit, I don't know. This is just a great use of paper. Kim Mew Mew. I got a lot of, like, my interest from, like, Emerichu, so yeah. That's- that's who we have to blame here. Some Pokemon. Now, I think I was watching like the show, like the animated show. This I think was just like an OC for Tokyo Mew Mew, and then this Karina. This was I watched the dub version, so that's kind of part of why there's all these problems. These problems such as me writing down like Zoe for the names. I didn't know that that was Ichigo and that that was like lettuce. This is Reina Bridget which I believe that's lettuce. I don't remember their actual names. I did not give a shit about the show that much. I really think this was like actually genuinely cute. Like, it, like are you joking? That's kind of actually cute. That's really good. Good job, little me. I do like it. I think I was definitely getting better over time, but I was like just starting to get into one style. Love how tiny both of these are. I was so into Pusheen. 
shout out to the, the girls who were into Pusheen because I was so into Pusheen. Anything that like Claire's marketed like really big was for me. Um, she's from Tokyo Mew <laughs> That's pudding. Oh, that's Kiki. I think I wrote like she's from Tokyo Mew and then later I found out that her name was Kiki. It's pudding, right? I think so. Evil Mew Mew Zoe. I wanted her to turn evil so bad. I want her to join up with like that one guy and they could be evil and a power couple. That was like my thing as a kid. Katsune. Yeah, Katsune. He's cool. I I do have not kept up with him at all though because he doesn't like post the same kind of content I watch now, which is fine. Misty from Pokemon. I'm positive. I'm from Tokyo Mew Mew. Kiki kept deciding on different ways to spell her name. It looks oh, this style. <laughs> I was going for realism. I don't think I was going for realism. I don't know what your girl was doing, but this was not it. I remember my friend thought these drawings were so funny. The ones like with these eyes. Trying to stay away from anime. Yeah, I didn't want to have an anime style. So I think I showed some art to my mom and she's like, that looks like anime. And I was like, oh, fuck. So. It's giving Picasso. It's giving like, um, Prodigy, it's giving Yeah. Look at look at the hands. It's giving abstract. I don't know who she is. Oh Marceline. I never watched Adventure Time, but I loved the shit out of Marceline. I watched the like I'm just your problem video so many times because I was just like banger, which it was. I was really into the Pokemon show and the Supergirl and the Flash show. Also, there is a little puddle over here, so I have gotten it pretty wet. You can just ignore that. You know, like, I don't really care about the sketchbook that much because I don't use it anymore. <laughs> but it is, like, my first sketchbook, as you can see by the number one on the front. Um, I think this was, like, Girl Ash Ketchum because I just wanted to draw Ash as a girl, I guess. Look at how big her head is in comparison to his. What did I write here? This girl from my book, Fire and Ice. That's a girl. I don't. Okay. Sure. Sure. Two girls that look kind of the same. This is, this was like what I was thinking of when I, anytime I open this sketchbook, I think about this drawing. Look at that. That is like peak art. I, I have a lot to say here with this. Like there's a lot of deeper meanings that you could dive into. Like my legs are broken. Tears are running straight down my face. And then here my hand is backwards. I pull like this. So, you know, there's a lot to say here. Um, yeah, I think this is what I think of when I think of the sketchbook. If you want to say it was drums, mayos for justice. What? I feel like this is the first man I've seen in this book. Hello. I still don't draw men very much. That has been a habit that has lasted forever. Uh, JD Animations with Rapunzel linked hair. Lynn. I always think that there's more Hamilton in this than there is. I only think it's like this last bit that has all the Hamilton. Um, this is the other drawing that I think when I open this. Whenever I open this sketchbook, I'm prepared to see the inside and the outside drawing, and then this one. These are the two like really solid drawings in here, for sure. For sure. Mariah Reynolds. I don't think that's how you spell Reynolds. I would just like write words for like so certainly and I never got it right. <laughs> I was so confident. Um oh here's some color. That's like the one thing about this book that's not that fun is that like there's nothing with color. Like it's not that fun to look at. Um the Skylar Sisters. I love that for me. Hello. This is a drawing of a friend. This is Peggy from Hamilton. Uh <laughs> I don't, like, there's not much to say. Oh, Hamilton with kawaii eyes. Love, I just love this. It's like the minimalism. It just it really speaks to me as an artist. That damn musical called, it was like, I thought it was called 21 Jump Street, but 21 Jump Street is like a separate thing, I think. But I don't know. Anyways, it got, it had the guy who played uh, Lawrence in it, and it also had Lynn, I'm pretty sure. But the premise of it was, Actually, I'm just going to put it on screen and not explain the entire premise of the show. Anyways, I drew it. Um, This is that Cape Town song, but how many of the lyrics did I get wrong? 100% of them. After I am upset. I cannot fall in love, but I guess. 
when I'm ready, I will fly us out of this. That was like my hype song as a whatever age I was here. Um, I'm glad I used up the page. Scribbled these out because I was pissed. Or scribbles, Frick. Uh, me talking about how much I hated Adam again. <laughs> I had so much beef with that motherfucker. My resolutions. Do just dance every day. <laughs> Tell Ari that I liked. Who the fuck was Ari? Oh, that kid. I didn't actually have a crush on him. It's funny to think that I just like chose him. A stick activity more than once a week. What the fuck is the stick activity? Write down more of my dreams. <laughs> Do more art. Start YouTube. I don't think I started YouTube. Not called. Um, my drawings. I remember being proud of this one. Uh, Theodosia. Peggy. Peggy has had a rough night. She. I am. Okay. <laughs> Shack hands with him. Charm her. I don't remember, like, the the premise of that song. And then this was traced from a Theodosia animatic. I remember that because I drew McDonald's. Don't get McDonald's, guys. You don't need, you don't need McDonald's. Um, it's random shit. An alien creature. Oh, this, I know that this next page is emo. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay, I saw this and I thought it was like a barcode over the eyes. <laughs> um, this is kind of fun. I feel like I should redraw some of this, but I don't know what, like, like a lot of this, I'm like, it's just like so simple. I'm like, what would I even do? I feel like I need to find something with like an interesting concept and redraw that. But this is kind of cute. Maybe I would redraw her. I just like how exaggerated her eyes are. Uh, Heather's. I was so into like anything that had an animatic for it. Uh, emo. Emo. Uh, emo alert. Not funny. Don't know who that is. <laughs> I was gonna say it's someone from Hamilton, like, based on the outfit, but I have no idea who. Uh, other emo shit. This is- oh, and then at the last page I said thank you to the only thing that deserves a thank you in this world, which is Hamilton. Thank God. Thank God for Hamilton. I really like the little Hamilton A. That's, like, really solid. Um, yeah, that's it. I should do more of these. I know I have like other ones that are really old like this, so it'd be funny to go through. But for right now, this is it. This is all I'm doing today. I'm redoing the voiceover for this part because some of the things have changed since I filmed this video. So I was making these stickers and donating the profits to Walla's GoFundMe, but that GoFundMe is no longer available, which leads me to believe that they reached their goal, which is great. But I found a new GoFundMe to donate the profits to instead. Aya is a mother in Gaza who is trying to send her two children back to Washington to be reunited with their family. She is trying to reach a goal of $40,000. Their home was excessively bombed, so they lost access to any way that they could make income. So they really do need this support. If you would like to support Aya's family, then without buying one of my stickers, the link will be in the description for you to just peruse that. And... If you aren't available to donate, which is totally understandable, just would say to share it because that's very helpful as well. Have a lovely rest of your day and free Palestine.